points given where points are due. They keep this place up quite nicely. Everything, all the landscaping, everything looks great. I get this spot every day. I kind of like it out here. Just slide myself over close to the S4 and until an Avalon pulls in at a horrible angle, we're pretty good. Okay, so we're back home. It's 1.30. Got to meet Joe in about 45 minutes. We're going to have lunch and I'm work on some calculus. Um, had class with Kenan. Had another class, legal or regulatory environment of business. Sat and took notes. We got out of both early today, which was very welcome. Um, beautiful this morning. It was like 72 degrees and sunny walking around campus. It was really nice. I uh, got myself a bite to eat in the student center. Found some strawberries and some granola nutri bar whole I don't know what it was. It was good. It was cheap. So I'm not doing any mowing today because I don't feel like it and because it's still wet. Um, probably would honestly go to the pool but I've got the lunch appointment. I'll just go to the pool tomorrow. Still got to mow this crap up. Um, did a little bit of research. Now that it's been about 24 hours, people have played with some of the new iDevices at the demos yesterday that uh, they announced. iPad Pro, Amazon supposedly, or not Amazon, Adobe supposedly released some statement regarding the iPad Pro, noting that it had four gigabytes of RAM. Once people noted that, um, Adobe changed their post and no longer included the fact they said it had four gigs of RAM. Anyways, if it does, that's the A9X chip. Um, usually the iPads had a, a gig on top of the iPhone, so that would mean that the uh, iPhone would have two or three. I would love for it to have three, um, but it'll probably be two. They probably double it for the iPad Pro, seeing that it's driving a much higher resolution display. Um, excited to play with one. I don't use the iPad I have a lot right now. I use it a lot more in the fall and winter when it's dark so early. Pretty much all I do is school and housework, so I come home and by seven o'clock I'm dead. I sit down in the chair for a couple hours, watch Cavs games, watch a movie, and I sit there with the iPad. It's a little easier to type and do emails and stuff on that instead of having the Mac on my lap. So um, I do look forward to playing with an iPad Pro. Feel it up, see if I like the screen size. Uh, if I do, then maybe I'll look into upgrading sometime, but I don't know. Pumpkin's doing his usually daily routine of standing by the screen and sniffing for stuff, bugs, Four cameras. How you doing? Yeah. Bored, tired, and hungry per usual. So um, I've got something to ship. I sold some books on Amazon, traded in some books on Amazon. So I got to ship that. Um, need to actually buy a box for the other one because I couldn't, can't find one that uh, isn't way too big or way too small. And then I am going to stop at the bank. So I'm thinking I'll leave about 15 minutes early, maybe 20 minutes early, and uh, take care of that crap today. I am planning on filming an update on this car for E39 source here in the next few days. I want to clean it up though. Front wheels especially have a ton of brake dust on them. They look nasty. It's been sitting outside for, well, as long as I've had it. It's been a while since I've washed it, so it needs to be uh, washed. Do a coat of spray wax, hit the wheels and tires, uh, floor mats, clean up the interior a little bit before I want to film it. Uh, I had considered doing some body work on this car this spring or fall and seeing that the rust is is worsening fairly quickly like up here i mean the hood's good otherwise so that i mean that needs to be addressed i'm not worried about that they all have that that and the door piece there should be worked with really it's i'm mo most worried about that fender that quarter panel and this one that's probably my a1 concern um it's going to be a lot of cost though and I, i'm not going to be keeping this car that long and it's about to sit outside for a whole nother winter, so I don't know what my plan's gonna be. If I don't do anything with it, I will at least like oil spray it and then put some sort of tape over it to try to slow it down. But I don't know. 
it's, it's a headache. But I am filming an update. I know people have, have questioned me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, email, and E39Source wanting an update on the car. And I haven't done one since like last fall. It's been almost a year since I've done it. The last one I did, I remember, the car was parked right here and I was talking about how I you know, did all the stuff to it. I haven't done a lot since. I've, I've done fog lights, I checked the DISA, I replaced that trunk thing in the back. And I, I've really just driven it. It's at 223,000 miles now. I've probably driven it less than 1,000 miles this summer. I've uh, driven the M5 2,000 miles this season or so. Um, so it, it's been a while. I wanted to do a video over the winter, put a winter update, kind of review how the car does in snow, a little review of the X-Drive and a manual, and either promote or uh, not recommend the 330 Xi's winter car. Um, and I definitely would promote it as a winter car, by the way. But uh, I never got around to that video, primarily because we had such a freaking horrible winter. Um, I did attempt to film it once. It was uh, the warmest day in January. It was like six degrees, I think. And I came out here and I just couldn't do it. And I remember editing what I did film and it was crap. You could hear like my teeth clattering. The camera was shaking all over the place. It was fogging up because it was so cold and icing over. And I'm not even gonna put up a video like that. So uh, hopefully we have a little better winter this year and I'll be able to do something with it because this thing really is fantastic in snow. Um, if you want to drive it and not slide around anywhere, you can certainly do that. And once you hit the DSC, since it's rear drive bias, you put this thing sideways and accelerate for days. Once you take your foot off the gas, it straightens right up and you're going straight again. Well, somebody copped over their sign. Is that an AMG? Is that an S class AMG? V8 bi turbo, S63. Damn! It's the first one in the new body style I've seen. Okay, it's now 12.30, I've been home for a while. I uh, did something today I used to do damn near every day all summer and have not done once this summer and only a few times last year and uh, that would be an eight mile bike ride um, which I did not take keys, a camera, or a battery or a uh, wallet along with me. I didn't think I was going to go that far but I was downstairs looking around and I found this and I'm like you know I have not ridden that all year so I brought it up, pumped up the tires. Um, Amazingly, that still works. Even the thermometer is right. The clock's not right. It's about 12:37, so it's a little slow. Um, but it was it was nice. It was a little hot, but I, I went all the way downtown. Went through all the Hudson schools. Went through the woods on a little path. Um, got back. I was tired. I was hot. My legs hurt, but it could decent workout since I haven't done it for a while. So um, now I'm very tired. Did not sleep much at all last night. Just went, got to bed late. I wasn't tired last night. Then I was up early today. Did class stuff. Met Joe for lunch. Shipped some books. Went to the bank. Came back here. Ended up taking the bike out for maybe 90 minutes. Came back. Watched Lost. Said emails. And now we're wrapping up the day. So tomorrow's Friday. If it's nice, we'll hit the pool. It's not supposed to be nice, unfortunately. It's supposed to rain. Uh, so if that's the case, we might go to Silver Lake, help grandparents with stuff, or work around here. I don't even want to say it, but there are future assignments I can get a foothold in, so we'll see. Anyways, I'm going up, I'm taking a shower, I'm going to bed. We'll talk on Friday. Good night.